Yo, what's up everyone? This is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege video. So the battle will begin really shortly. There we go. Let's see who our opponents are for today. We're up against Red Devils and Lazy Time. Okay, we'll just check the rankings real quick. Uh huh. So usually these two guilds are like always in the top 10. Devils now is at rank 11. Lazy Time, however, rank 18. Oh, they're cutting it really close for the qualification for the tournament, right? So on Devil's side, their net for defense is this Martina Shina Trianas, a full tower of it. Tower 11, Water Ryu Shazam. This one is a retash. So I'm guessing like Beast Monk's Water Ryu defense. Yeah, there we go. And for Tower 10 here, of course, is the LD Tower. We do know that they do have a lot of Giannas, so 3 Giannas there and this Wunsa. Okay, Tessarian Wunsa Savannah, the one pretty interesting, right? So on Lazy Time side is the Twins with the Clara. Tower 9, Tessarian Savannah Clara. Hmm. Okay, a full tower of it. How about their Tower 10, the middle one, Tessarian Odin Bastet. So they're not running that 5 LDs here. Pretty interesting. My apologies boys, we forgot to record the first fight. I pressed the button but it didn't record for some reason. <laughs> so we are gonna fight our next battle here up against this twins with the Clara. So of course, I'm just gonna bring in the Jultan Sien Rina. This team super safe as long as your Sien lands a bomb onto the Shina, right? So let's just go ahead. Okay, we get stunned up. Doesn't really matter because Sien has that revive passive. Okay, goes for the boomerang. Good. We'll be able to place the bomb here. Ah, oh. <laughs> perfect. We landed it onto the Shina at least. Because sometimes when you land the bomb onto Zenobia, Zenobia will just cleanse it away with the second skill. And from here, we'll just try to work on to the Shina. Once she dies, 1v1, no way Rina loses to this unit. The Zenobia is finally going down here. Can this kill? Awesome. We got our second win. It's kind of like free for all already, so we are just gonna try and use up as many swords as we can. Gonna mirror this team as well, the Vigor Kaki Triana, right? So with our Triana and crit damage build right now, as long as we kill off the Kaki, we should be safe. And if let's say it's 2v2 Vigor Triana against Vigor Triana, I'm pretty sure we should be able to uh, win it as well. So we already propped the passive on Triana, that's not too good. Ah, we are taking heavy damage. Oh, stop procking, man. Come on. No sleep. We go for the armor break. Nice proc. But the cleanse though, we can't really do too much here. Can we sleep? Ah, I'm not liking this. Okay, we heal up. We do have a cleanse coming up from Triana, right? Nice armor break. We are just gonna cleanse the unrecoverable buff away. Once Kaki moves, I think we kill. Ho oh, ho, nice. Just enough. Okay, so from here on out, we'll just work on to the Vigor. He seems pretty squishy. We also land the armor break. Triana doesn't have the cleanse. So I think we should be able to kill off the Vigor before the Triana gets the cleanse off. There we go, crit damage Triana working very good. I'm liking crit damage Triana right now. Even better than what I used before. Yep, good crits, GG. There are loads of towers opening up and we'll be fighting this Tessarion, Bastard and Odin. I'm gonna bring in the Tessarion, Camilla and Luis. This one super safe against it. Personally, I feel like making one more Tessarion if I can get it from the Ifrit pieces. I'm actually buying that. <laughs> because having a dupe Tessarion right now, I feel like it comes in handy, right? You can always bring him into offense and everybody is running it on defense as well. So we didn't land the armor break. Pretty unfortunate. So we need to wait about two more turns. Can we slow? Whoa! Resistance leader working wonders here. <laughs> uh, can we stun? No? Oh, this ain't good. We only have one more immunity left onto Luis. Okay. 
I don't like that attack debuff. We didn't even get the stun. Can we slow? We are not landing anything. Armor break. Prop. <laughs> okay, we land the armor break. Can we prop? No props. Oh, we have to cleanse our G, uh, our Louis up. <laughs> Wanted to say Jin there. Okay, to Siren down to the last health. This should kill. All right, perfect. And hits my Camila, so we are fine from here. Yeah, we do have to heal up on our next turn from our Luis. Can we armor break? Oh my god. Okay, we'll just heal up because our Luis is really low on health. The Bastet has the Curse of Beautiful. There we go. And once we kill off this Odin, can we just go for the stun? Perfect. Kill. The Saren move? Uh, yeah, zero stacks. So easy. We don't really need to oblivion up that unit. We even land the armor break onto the bastard here. We're just gonna press the auto button, right? So another good counter against this kind of team, of course, is the Fing and Veladro and Rina. So I feel like coming into the Siege tournament, I need to make a few more Rinas just in case. Because um I'm scared if they run the twins, I need to use Rina there. And I only have one of it. With another Rina, I can also get another win from this kind of teams if they are going to use the Tessarian Bastet Odins. This tower one just opened and it's the Tessarian Bastet Odin again. So I'm just gonna bring in my Lucian. Hopefully we can kill off the Bastet and Odin ASAP. And we should be good from there. So let's just see. Okay, we buff up our Lucian. Amputation magic. Oh my god, wait, that Bastet survived? <laughs> Damage reduction on win. Oh, I guess he lost voice. Wow, thirteen thousand only. Shit. Ah, and we can't kill the Tessarion. Oh, GG man. Damn. We'll be hitting the net four defense on Lazy Time side. Another Vigo Kaki Triana. So it seems like. In this current meta for Season 4, the net force all revolves around the Kaki Kakano Vigor, and for the net 5, it consists of the Tessarian Savannah slash Odin. And yeah, we don't really see anything else apart from a couple of water reuse with the Retash, right? But yeah, other than that, it's mainly like this kind of defense. Definitely, Kumun is out of the picture already. We don't really see Kumun often anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like Kumun still does his job pretty well. The shield is always very good. And from here, yeah, we just deleted off the Kaki. And I think this one should be pretty simple. Is this Triana tanky? Let's try and poke her. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's on a crit damage build. Yeah, 8,000 crit with no armor break. We even land the armor break here. One shot GG. Yeah. So usually I'll test like a normal hit onto the Triana to see whether it's like tanky. If it's tanky, most likely it's not on a crit damage build. However, earlier we just did like a normal attack from our Kaki. Took away like quarter of the life already without armor break. So could have told it was on a crit damage build. Very simple from there. We just aim her. And yeah, this Vigor is already going down. There we go, nice. There aren't many towers left open up and we still have four more swords to go. So we'll be fighting this Water Ryu, Jogan and Adna. It's very interesting this defense. However, I feel like it's lacking damage because it's mainly just the Adna doing the damage output on this team. So if we kill her off ASAP, I feel like it should be in the back. Okay, it goes for the strip. Additional prop. Why did he scroll tap my Veladro? Feng Yan is the elemental advantage, right? <laughs> wow, the AI is so smart. He knows that Veladro is the cleanser. Can we survive this? Oh, this is not good. Don't get a prop. Okay. Our Veladro is back. Can we cleanse? It's very important. Okay. 
Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the glancing. Actually get it. Nice counter. Etna dies. And from here, I think we are good. But still, I feel like... Why did the AI use the scroll tap onto my Villajo when we didn't have any armor breaks? And Fingyan is there as the win uh, tanker, right? So fire should always aim win. Unless scroll tap is really random. Yeah. I have no clue, man, because I don't have that unit. <laughs> I have four art masters. None of them is the fire one. So double win, the duck, and the water. So yeah, I feel like, okay, we get our heals back up. This more should die from this. Perfect. Next up, we'll be fighting this triple twins consisting of the Shina, Zenobia, and Martina. I'm gonna bring in my Icarus, Beta, and Arnold. So with resistance leader, we are really high on resist. And hopefully they aim my Arnold because Arnold should be able to tank up the twins damage. Oh, I'm not liking this. Actually, armor breaks my Icarus. Huh! We need a prop. Didn't get it. Ah... I needed it to aim my Arnold <laughs> because with Zenobia to follow up, he shouldn't be doing too much damage onto my Arnold. I think this one definitely GG. Very unfortunate stuff. Hi. Yeah, another loss here. We only got two more swords and I want to do something fun right here. I'm gonna bring in our Kumon, Savannah and Mogwell. And for our next fight, I'm thinking along the lines of more the Water Striker, because these are our two new units that we got last week. We'll go for the Threat State onto Kumun and the Strip. Nice, we landed the stun onto Bastet. But it's okay, additional prop. <laughs> oh, very unfortunate. Can we kill? Yeah, not really, through the shield as well. So pretty tanky Odin right here. Critical Link. Uh, the dots will actually kill off the Odin, so we don't really need to touch him anymore. Yeah, we'll pop the Tessarion. I don't like that Oblivion onto my Savannah. We have to kill. Nice. And now we'll just work on to the Tessarion. Replace the Threat State again onto Kumun. Strip. Oh, didn't get it, but gets the Glancing. Hmm. Yeah, this team pretty legit. <laughs> I'm actually liking it. Mogwell, nice stun. Push back. Armor break. Okay, kill. Awesome. Wow, this team actually really good. Um, another thing that I'm trying to make use of is maybe like Tessarion, Savannah, Mogwell. I think it can become a very good defense as well. But yeah, Kumon provides the speed leader for my Mogwell to go first because he's on Despair. We are down to our last sword and we are seeing this Water Ryu defense. I'm gonna bring in my Moor as well together with Etna and Kakano. However, this team we are bringing in doesn't have any sustain so we have to kill off something ASAP. Yeah, we go for the capture onto the Retash. Nice stun. Hidden aim. No additional prop. We didn't get the strip as well. <laughs> oh, Perna, three turns. It's over. And actually lands the armor break onto my Kakano. Oh, so unfortunate this fight. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. We got 7 out of 10. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 319 crystals followed by 302 guild points. We'll collect those and head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So I feel like personally, I won't be bringing more until he's fully max skilled. Because we could see that he didn't really do too much earlier. No strips, no pushback. Ah, uh, yeah, just can't cut it for high level siege for now. We'll just open up this box, no shiny. But we got a LD piece, pretty nice. We'll sell this rune, some manas and stones. Okay, so that's something that I would like to announce as well. On the 8th of May, 2021, 9pm SGT, I'll be doing a live stream on my YouTube channel for Summoner's War Lost Centuria. And I'll be showing you guys like a guide on how I'm playing the game. 
because I'm already at 2007 points, pretty close to diamond. And if you guys are having any difficulties, you can just ask me out uh, when it's on the live stream itself. And I will definitely reply you guys then, alright? So make sure to stay tuned for that. Hope to see you guys there. And please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video as well. Take care and stay safe everyone. Peace out.